Hello Pixels and welcome to a Minecraft mod installation video. Today's mod is Optifine for Minecraft 1.4.5. So what Optifine is, it just raises your FPS and if you're not a tech geek like me, that's pretty much how fast Minecraft runs. Whether you can go from whoop, boop, boop, you can just move smoothly and play fast and fun. So essentially you'll need three things. Uh, well, just one thing and four download, two downloads. So what it is is you'll need WinRAR, the basic thing you need for Minecraft modding. This allows you to open up the mod packs and your Minecraft jar, which is uh, what you need to place all the mod, the things in the mod packs in to get Minecraft modded. So first you need to open up your browser, internet, Chrome, Google, whatever. So just open up and go to this first website right here. All the links to all this stuff will be in the description below, so you guys can just go down there and click it. So basically what WinRAR does, it's like I said, just opens up the basic needs. And uh, if it says, right here it says a 40 day trial, um, no, it's, it's there forever. So you don't need to worry about that. So just click download, excuse me, and uh, just download it and walk through it and install it. So now you can close that. Now you can go to this next website, which is the down, sorry, link, uh, which downloads downloads Mod Loader. Oh, you guys are probably there saying, hey, why are you using Mod Loader? Why don't you use Forge? Well, I frankly don't like to use Forge. It's my opinion. You guys can use Forge. The mod will still work with it. So yeah. So just scroll down, and then here you can click Download Mod Loader. Wait five seconds, just click skip add, and it'll just completely download for you right there. Now you can, uh, next you can close this, close that. Now you can go to this next link, which is the Optifine mod itself. There are three choices to choose from. There is the light, the standard, and the ultra. They all do the same thing, it's just how well they do it. Light, I'm guessing, doesn't do as much as standard, and standard doesn't do as much as ultra. That's what I think. But uh, in this mod, I'll show you guys how to do ultra. But it's basically the same thing for each and every one of these. So what you want to do is just click on the one you want. Standard, light, or HD, or ultra, whatever you guys want. Just So just click it. I'm doing it ultra because I love running Minecraft fast. So just preparing to download request. When it's done, see, it's done. Just click it, and it'll download. So now you can close your internet, and uh, just drag where you, what uh, stuff you wanted, and just drag it to your desktop, like where you downloaded it. And from here, you can either, from here, what you want to do is look for your roaming folder, which can be found by either clicking on the start button and looking up percent app data percent. See, it'll bring up a roaming folder, or you can do the Windows button and R, which will then also bring up a run item, a run application sort of thingy. So from here you can also look up percent app data. Percent this way worked for me. Like when I was modding, this is what I would use. So just click enter and it'll bring you straight up to here. So from here you want to locate your Minecraft folder, which is dot Minecraft, which is probably the first one. So from here what you want to do is just double click it. And then look for the bin, which is probably right here, and click bin. And then open up the Minecraft, not anything else, the one that says Minecraft. So what you want to do is right click it, then go to open with, then WinRAR Archiver. So click on it, and it'll bring this up. I can't stress this enough, this is the most important thing about mod load, modifi modifying Minecraft. <laughs> can't talk today. So you want to delete this meta INF folder. It is what's blocking you guys from modifying the game. So just delete it. Are you sure? Yes. From there, yep. Now you can just bring this down. Now what you want to do is first open up Mod Loader and bring it to the side or whatever. And from here, you I just control A to click it all. And then open the Minecraft jar and just drag it over. And OK. And there you go. Your Mod Loader is installed. But that is not the Optifine you want is not what's going to do it. So what you want to do now is open Optifine, do the same thing, just do control A and drag it over. Okay. And there you got it. And uh yeah, so everything should be working. 
The only way for this to really work is you have to have Minecraft closed or else it won't work. But, so, all in all, that's pretty much it. So, that's, uh, remember to have WinRAR, delete the meta INF folder or else it won't work. And, uh, it's probably best if you do start out with a clean, clean jar like I did. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, we'll give it a little review also. So, uh, I'll open up my Minecraft and meet you guys there. So, uh. See you guys there. Hello, Pixels, and welcome to the reveal part of my Minecraft mod installation. So, you guys learned how to install the Minecraft mod um, Optifine for 1.4.5. So, pretty much this is what it is. It just raises your... It doesn't add any new blocks, any new mobs. It doesn't do really much any... Pretty much anything. But just makes the Minecraft run a lot faster. So, see, you... I'm recording, and that just brings, uh, when I'm recording, it usually brings me down a lot, but see, I'm still at 90, and I'm pretty stable at 90, even though I have, um, let me just show you my video settings, fancy graphics on, and, uh, render distance short, uh, that's not too bad, let me just see if I can put it on far, see if, see, it's on far, and I still, oh, oops, screenshot, still getting, wow, that might have just raised my FPS, actually, <laughs> See, uh, there you go. See, I lost a few, fr like, 20 frames, but still, Minecraft is still very runnable for me. But, uh, so yeah. Also, uh, let's just, uh, slash time, time set zero. Oh, oops, slash time set zero. Oops, god dang it. There you go. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty much the mod. It just raises FPS quality and if you guys are wondering what this is this is a little minecraft pixel craft let's play if you it's not a video it's just me when i'm bored see i i lose frames quite quickly so this is 32 frames people will be like oh why 32 frames oh it's really good and uh not for me normally when i'm playing i'm getting 300 that's because i have an amazing computer but uh, even if you do install this and you're still lagging, so I'll just show you guys the best settings to put it on. So what I usually do is just go to options, video settings. I keep my graphics on fast, my performing, my performance max FPS, and my render difference distance usually on short. And uh, that's what usually gets me through. See, went back to 90 FPS. Yep, so that's still really good for me. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the mod. It doesn't add very much. Oh, and if you click, uh, left control, you can zoom in. This is pretty cool for, like, to see if mods are coming or to scope out a new area. Or even just to be an archer, because you could aim pretty far and hit stuff. And that's pretty much all this mod has to offer. It's a really good mod to have if you have terrible computer or just horrid anything actually so uh that's this mod and uh that's pretty much all it has to offer please go download this mod guys it's it's not it's just really good to have it just boosts your guys fps how fast minecraft runs and it just all around great mod so thank you guys for watching rate comment like if you guys would want because that would help us out make us feel good and um yeah Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe because, you know, there. if you guys want more content like this, subscribing will make us want to make out more. Also, sorry for not posting out a video in a while. I've been quite busy with setting up my new computer. Oh yeah, if you guys couldn't tell, this is this is my new computer. Uh, it's an Asus computer with 16 gigabytes of RAM or 16 gigabytes of memory if you're a computer geek with two terabytes of storage and uh... you're like oh what's a two terabytes uh... it's pretty much two thousand gigabytes so uh... yeah so i'll be videos will be better and better quality so uh... like i said thank you guys for watching rate comment like subscribe and uh... yeah so thank you guys for watching and bye